Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here playing Trials Fusion. This is the Fire in the Deep DLC. In this first video here, we'll be getting the Curiosity Killed the Cat achievement slash trophy, which is for clearing the Hunter of Secrets challenge on Deeper Underground. I recommend using the Pit Viper, although in this instance, the bike makes very little difference in getting the achievement or trophy. We're just going to want to continue through the, through the map. I believe you can fault as many times as you want. However, I would probably recommend not faulting if you don't have to, as I did encounter a small problem the first time I tried this. However, um, I was able to get it first try on my second try here. You'll come to this checkpoint about a minute in if you're decent, where you'll see a small no bikes allowed sign just behind the checkpoint. You'll want to press Y to bail or uh, triangle on the PlayStation in order to bail. And that'll actually put you into first person mode. And once you're in first person mode, you're gonna wanna step forward as if you're progressing through the track, fall down onto these beams, use the beams to climb up onto the third story of uh, kind of cat, uh, scaffolding or, uh, or catwalks, whatever you wanna call these. Once you're on the third story, you'll see these two tunnels in front of you. Now you will have to drop down back down onto the second story. However, the only way to get here is if you go to the third story first, then drop down to this first tunnel. Instead of going forward into the tunnel, you're going to want to turn left, go through this bush. Now, unfortunately, this will be not inverted, so it'll be normal axis, and I don't believe there's a way to change it. So if you're like me, you'll have a little bit of a hard time controlling, which is why you might uh, see it being a little weird. Once we go through the bush, turn right, go through the little hole, turn right, you'll see these two barrels, walk through them, and then hug the wall to the right-hand side, go through this pipe. This is gonna take you about three to four minutes in total, so you'll wanna keep that in mind. Make sure you don't get lost or else it can be very um, disorienting in terms of getting back to where you need to go. Once you exit this pipe, you'll see a big arrow. You're gonna actually wanna follow that arrow um, and then just progress forward and keep progressing forward. Once you reach this vault slash gate in front of me, you're gonna to wanna to turn left and head up the ramp. Uh, use these uh, beams in order to keep going. Make sure you don't fall off or you might have some uh, headaches coming up. Continue into this big room, you'll see a beam that comes across the top of the room. In order to get there, you'll need to turn left through these barrels, through this box, um, turn right, and then keep going behind this wall. You'll see a small staircase, and now you'll be able to use that beam that goes across the top of the room. So you'll want to cross across that beam, go up this ramp into this tunnel. Again, the only controls you're going to need to use, the typical FPS controls, you're going to be moving your character with the left analog stick and looking with the right analog stick. However, again, it will be not inverted. Once we reach this end, you're going to see some pylons on one side and a gate on the other side. We're going to want to head for the pylons to the left. You'll see there is a bush in front of the pylons. We're just going to walk through and fall through the hole. Once we fall through the hole, we're going to see this. Now, you might have seen this, but uh, if you took the wrong way, you'll see it through a gate and you won't be able to access it. So what we're going to need to do is just walk straight into it. However, we are not done quite yet. There is still a little bit to go. You're going to watch about a maybe 15 second cutscene type thing going on right here. There's some music and some cool sound effects going on. It kind of sounds like the X-Files. I'm sure there's a reference in here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure what this is a reference to. Maybe someone in the comments down below can let me know. You should spawn in this pipe. As soon as you spawn in the pipe, walk forward to this gigantic chain. You'll walk onto it and it'll start an elevator ride downwards. Now make sure you are not touching any of the sticks during that little cutscene part before this. Uh, I had a problem where when it spawned me into this area, it actually spawned me outside of these pipes and I fell down and died. I had to restart the whole thing over again. So once you ride that elevator with the chain down all the way, you should look forward directly in front of you. You should see this screen. Just walk up to it and watch this screen again. I'm sure this is a reference to some kind of horror movie, some classic that I'm just, I must be missing probably because of my age. Um, and the achievement or trophy should unlock there. It's worth 25 gamer score, bronze trophy. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully that was helpful. Make sure you like if it was. You can also comment if you so desire and subscribe for future content similar to this. Peace.